Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about high frequency sparkle. Not a very scientific name, I'll grant you, but uh, something I think we need to talk about, especially with today's digital sources. There's a lot of clarity, resolution in our higher frequencies, that four to 8,000 cycle range, and it bothers people and it, it bites, it, it irritates, especially over long listening periods. And I think we're all kind of uh, familiar with it. So that 4,000, 8,000 cycle range I see consistently in rooms that we measure and test. And I see a lot of times that it's overabsorbed. So there's a lot of um, overabsorption of that energy. And we have to be really careful with too much absorption in that area. And why? Because that's the air so to speak, that people talk about in, in our presentations. A symbol, um, anything that generates uh, high frequencies, a rim shot on a drum, those, those can really be made in your room to suspend in air and, and, and have a nice quality of sound to them. But if you overabsorb them, and that's the natural tendency to do because they, you know, they're fatiguing, they're nasty over long periods of time, especially as an engineer if you're working with it. I can't tell you in the last two weeks, I think I've measured seven, eight rooms and that 4,000, 8,000 cycle range is predominant in all rooms. So <clears throat> we want to be very careful about how we manage that domain because it does provide a lot of air, a lot of... Uh, separation and, and there's some great definition and and some emotional uh, feelings and, and responses in that range so we have to be careful with how how we management we manage it and um, be very careful with overabsorption now it's our treatment options usually exist in the lateral or horizontal do domain so if our room is here and our speakers are here we, we really look at, you know, the lateral domains for our treatment. Well, here's an idea that we've discovered in our studio, because we, we're guilty of the same thing. I, I can't stand that 4,000 to 8,000 cycle range, even though I'm older and don't hear as much of it as, as you younger guys out there and people do. But it still bothers me. So overabsorption is not the answer. The answer is to manage it, get, it a, get, your, get your definition through absorption, get the right amounts, rates, and levels of absorption to give you the definition that you want, but then use diffusion in, in the domain that you need to use. Now, what domain is that? Well, what we've discovered, if you stay out of the horizontal or sidewall domain and go above it, if this is your sidewall and here's your speaker, We've been working with uh, diffusion up here in the horizontal dimension above the speakers. And we're finding that we get a lot of air back into the presentation and it doesn't take uh, that much surface area to treat. So in fact, in our studio now, we're using one or two of these higher frequency diffusers on the sidewalls. And we're getting a lot more air back into our presentation but it's not that brittle, biting, you know, high frequency uh, piercing that you get. So we have to uh, look at that. Now, what's an example? Let me see if I can bring this over here for you. This is one of our diffusers that we use. And it's, uh, I don't remember what this one is based on, what prime number it's based on. But basically, this is... 1,500 to about 4,000 cycles. So we position this diffuser in the horizontal domain, and we do it, we do it above the speakers around the room. You can try different surfaces, try sidewall surfaces first, try front and rear wall surfaces. So the solution would be to get definition and clarity through absorption but add that sparkle or air back into the presentation using um, some higher frequency quadratic diffusion. And it sounds a little bit confusing. If you have any questions, just call us and uh, we'll be able to uh, help you on that. So higher frequency diffusion, you can see in, in graphic seven that 
we don't want to overdamp, and we have options in, in the higher domains of our listening environment to, uh, to get that. And we have a tool, quadratic diffusion. We don't need lower frequencies. We need frequencies that match the problems areas that we have. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.